Hi guys, this is Jamie Lee with Bird Tricks. I just wanted to make a quick video on bird cages. So as most of you know that follow us, we use aviaries and we use aviaries indoors and outdoors. So these are our octagon aviaries. Um, we love them because they are super sturdy. They have nice roofs so that nothing can get in from above. We like to put, wherever we put perches, um, as you can see, ooh, this is kind of hard on selfie mode. Right here we have a perch. We also put a toy bundle in the way so that nothing could come onto the side of the cage and get into and grab our birds. Um, but these are heavy duty, they're super heavy. Um, and that is the bar spacing. Here's Rocco modeling it for you. Hey Rockstar. Trying to figure out how to get closer to us. Um, so you gotta keep the bar spacing in mind for these. These do come in smaller bar spacing, which we use for our doves and conures. But here we just keep our macaws, cockatoos, and grays in this bar spacing. So the biggest thing when it comes to cages is proper bar, space, bar spacing because your birds can get easily hurt and um, literally we've heard of birds dying from the improper bar spacing. So just be really, really careful about that. One of the things I don't like about these aviaries are our friendly feeders. Now we were sold on these originally because they keep all the food inside and it keeps less mess. But honestly, for an aviary, who freaking cares? It's all going outside anyway. The other thing I don't like about these, they are very hard to clean. You have to take the entire thing off. So literally unscrew it from, I believe it has three points here, three points on each side. You have to unscrew to take the whole thing off to be able to clean it. Um, then the dishes come out. However, the only locking mechanism on these is this little flap that goes like this. Um, so that is locked that is unlocked. So the birds from inside, if it is unlocked, they can push out the bowl all by themselves. Then they can actually crawl out of that space. Let me show you that space. Literally a macaw can crawl out of that space. Not that I know from experience or anything. So the feeders that I do like are these rotating feeders or what they're called. The reason that I really love them is you can lock them. You can put literally a lock on here. So no one um, can get in or out of them. They just simply spin around, you put the bowl in and you spin them back around. I love these because they're so much more secure. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, if you're going to fight with someone and they want to go let your bird out, they can do it with the other feeders, but with these ones they can't unless they know how to open the lock. So way more secure. The other thing I love about these aviaries is the catch-all feature. It does cost extra, but you can attach a catch-all. So not only is the catch-all locked, but so is the inside of the cage in there, you can see. So it's double locked, especially for Jinx, because he is an escape artist. Hi, Jinxie. The other problem that we had with indoor cages is casters. They're always falling off, they're always breaking. You always end up putting like a two by four underneath it to keep it sturdy, and we just hate that. So we literally converted to all aviaries. Um, that's all we use just aviaries indoors and outdoors and we love it we've used um, different types of bottoms of the aviary indoors we put newspaper with rocks to keep them down when the birds are flying in them and then outdoor here we actually have sand so we literally clean them like you would a cat box <laughs> we have a little bucket and a little sifter shovel and we just scoop everything up in the morning and put it in the bucket and it's good to go We've also just used grass and let it fertilize and used rakes to rake it around and then let the um, nature do the rest as far as when it rains. So that works out great for us too. So this is what we really, really like to do for all of our birds. And um, it usually helps them to get along better because they have a lot more space to do so. But as you can see, everyone's separated. So yeah, I hope this is helpful to you guys and you can check out um, we have some blog posts and stuff on more specifics of cages and locking mechanisms that you can look up. But this is what we do to keep everything clean, easy, simple, and safe.